Hi Libra, welcome back. It is me Michelle and I'm back with another reading. Please keep in mind that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided, everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the roles could be reversed in between you and your person. And with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Also, I want to say that I am on social media. Besides here, I'm also on Instagram and um, TikTok. Um, if you are interested, it's going to be down below, in the box down below. Also, please keep in mind that there is a scammer trying to be me. Uh, if you get a random message from an account with my face on, please block and report the account because I do not message anybody. I do not bother anybody through messages offering my services. So please do not fall for that. So for that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you, Libra. Spirit, what can you give me for Libra? Please and thank you. For Libra, please and thank you. So we got, I drink to forget. Then we got, I want to have sex with you. Then we got, my heart is yours. And then we have, I can't accept you don't want me back. Let me see, let me see. For Libras. Then we got, I'm not going to stop until I get what I want. And then last one says, don't be sad because it's their loss. You are better off without them. Bye. And at the bottom of the deck, we have, I'll do anything for you. Just say it. And then lies and betrayal on the reverse. Right next to says, um, no matter where I go, I miss you. So your person seems like a really problematic person, like at least in their head. I feel like they don't know what they really want. And I know people, I have people say like they don't like access and all that, but it's not my fault that they're coming across here. Like I was not the one dating them, you know? <laughs> so either way, uh, there's somebody that still thinks of you. They still like, I feel like they struggle with their feelings. They struggle with how to cope with it. They struggle with how and why they feel like this. It is somebody that feels like, yeah, they're in love with you, but at the same time, they don't show it. And I feel for some of you, Libras, you are done with this energy. You are done with the running or the chasing. I feel like you are just, you might be open for some of you to accept this person if they reach out, if they do something. But others of you, I feel like you're more interested in the new. I'm going to take a look at what else I, I'm able to find for you. Also, I am using a, a new deck. I love this deck. I'm going to show you. Look how pretty. I love uh, their decks. Um, is Angel Wisdom Tarot here. I love this deck. I don't know. I love it. So, and the cards are so big. <laughs> I love that too. So let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Can you give me more information and more details about the situation with Libra and this possible energy? Thank you. So we got the Chariot in Reverse. This is Cancer Energy. Then we got the Eight of Pentacles in the Reverse. Okay. Then we have, um, it says, a windfall of abundance and wise counseling right here. So this could be, this. they have a different, this tarot is different because they have like extra cards as well. So for me, this is like a new beginning as well. Again, it's a. It's called a Z. So this is number one. This could be, uh, for me, it could be the, the fool, you know. Then we got the ten of cups right here. We can actually add, um, there's a lot of emotions here as well. And then we got the Ace of Wands right here, Fire. This could be um, a Leo Sagittarius that you're dealing with, Cancer as well. Cups, if we uh, relate Cups with a zodiac sign, it could be, again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And at the bottom here, we got the Hermit of Reverse right here. This is a very cool energy right next to the Balance right here. This could be Gemini and or Libra, such as yourself. Again, Libra, the Empress right here in the reverse. So let's go uh, wrap it up. So um, here we got the Chariot right here in the reverse and the Eight of Pentacles right here. So here you stopped uh, chasing this person. You stopped reaching out to them. You stopped the obsessive because you, Libra, were in a way obsessed or it could be like codependent of this person. Some of you were involved in toxic relationships in the past and when this person showed you the affection or whenever you met this person, you felt this deep connection that you did not want to let go. Libras are really intuitive person. So 
for some of you you kind of realize that this could be like mean trouble but at the same time you stayed because you liked how it felt it felt right it felt like nothing you have felt before so even though that you're not the kind of person that chase and tries you actually made an exception for this person and you could have get, gave this person multiple uh, um, opportunities to change to show you to make it up to you and I feel they didn't and that's why you stopped either or giving them chances and maybe you also stopped chasing them and trying and making them know that you still care like you stopped that and you focus in your money I see you working a lot in your money career you are, are focused in yourself with the um, fool and the ten of cups right here you are working on your own happiness and the past you thought this person was your happiness and you were convinced that this person was the only happiness and I'm saying like this is just because the amount of energies I feel of like not wanting to let go of this person not wanting to accept that this person might not be the right for you that back then and then so you actually kind of like clinked or linked to this person so much and you made an idea of like this person was your only ideal picture of happiness and whenever you stop that whenever you got tired of like that pattern um and maybe you decided to put your focus in studies career yourself you realize that your happiness was not only with this person i feel like some of you with the fool right here it was a new beginning with somebody else as well you could be alone you could be with somebody else okay but you found your happiness within yourself and i feel for most of you you found a new partner or a possible partner here with the ace of wands right here there is a new beginning that is yet to come for you or to you and Again, it's something that's stable. It's something that it could grow into something better, into something bigger. And this, I don't see this this new beginning related to this past person whatsoever. I know this is not what you want to hear. Some of you are going to be mad at me. But this is for whoever Libras are done with the past and want to embrace the future and the new. I'm not saying that the past is not going to show up. It's going to show up because the universe likes to test people's commitment. To see if you really really mean what you said that one night i i just said it like that i don't know why so with the hermit virgo uh, energy and the balance right here this person's gonna come out of uh hiding this person that says that they drink to forget and that they miss you whatnot they're coming out of hiding and they are gonna communicate they're gonna actually reach out to you and whatever they do whatever they say is gonna bring balance to your life okay the point of this person coming out of hiding the point of this person coming back into your life or try to come back into your life or at least to let you know that they're still here is to bring balance to you that is maybe something that you needed to hear maybe something that you needed to see to realize that you might be over or to whatever it is okay because again this is for multiple libras here they their um, communication their appearance their hey how are you message is going to bring balance to your life and it's gonna make a lot of sense i'm not sure why i'm saying that but it's gonna make you feel like oh it makes sense like you're going to understand a lot of things or why things happened maybe they're going to give you an explanation maybe it's something that you needed to have that closure that you were seeking for a long time for you to be able to connect what is this person's real intentions with libra please and thank you we got the seven of cups in reverse. We got the um, knight of swords. I mean the page of swords. Oh my god, I'm crazy. We got the world in reverse. You can also be dealing with a Gemini. And we got the queen of pentacles right here. At the bottom here, we got the ten of pentacles. So, in reverse. And the eight of swords in reverse. So okay so your person did try other cups your person did hang out with other people they saw other people but they were not content either or they were not content or they got bored of the other people that they were messing with or dealing with and that is why they're coming back to you because they never got bought like bored with you and i'm not giving you that as a compliment right i'm just telling you how they feel they get bored of people but they never got bored of you they yet again they messed up the connection right so 
they got bored of the other options they got bored of like going here and there did not work out it did not give you this fulfillment they maybe realize that they have some sort of feelings for you but yet again they don't actually want to change because your person has the potential of changing because everybody has potential of changing and being better right but your person refuses that okay it's like somebody that's been stuck on their ways for so long that they just don't know how to change they know but they just don't want to do it so your person will reach out to you once again and i'm calling this person your person because it's the person that you had the strongest connection so far and this person will come back to you but they're not gonna give you a they're gonna they might give you like mixed signals they're gonna get you confused again that's how they do it they are not a bad person they're just a poor confused person or a really immature person somebody that it could grow this person could grow uh without a father or a, a figure to look up to so it's like they really don't know where or or like where to go like they're lost in life and they just grab things and they just don't know exactly what they want so it's a really childish person a really immature energy here that does not mean they're a bad person because people can get confused but this person is really really confused they really don't know what they want and they're really unstable and for people to get bored of other people that is when you know this person is really immature so at the point here is that yes they're gonna reach out but they just don't want to change or they refuse change because they know they have to put a lot of effort and this person again is a person that tries something and then leaves whenever they get bored and whenever they know that okay so to for libra or to be with libra i have to put a lot of effort and when they realize the amount of work they have to put they rather walk away and get whatever they think they can get elsewhere and when they do that they regret it later because they don't actually care for nobody but themselves but you are the only person who has like stayed or has met made an impression in their life nobody else has done that <coughs> to go more in depth right this person has dated multiple people right and this person has been able to move on from every single one of their exes but even if you date this person or not this person considers you an ex because they had a really deep connection with you and they just really don't understand why they can't move on from you sorry about my red nose i have allergies um they just don't understand why they can't move on from you they just don't understand it and they come back at you but they, it's like really unstable here with the world in reverse right here a long time has passed by i feel you guys haven't seen this person around i don't know 12 months 24 months that's a year two years and this person um yeah th this person hasn't even hit you up or nothing but that's gonna change that's gonna change this person is gonna change that uh situation of not talking to you but again i don't see the story changing because your person refuses change refusing to transform themselves because they don't feel there's nothing wrong with the way they acted you know with the queen of pentacles here you on the other hand you are step is more stable you are more mature you could be older than this person not necessarily but if you could right you are really working on your money you are really working on your stability and your mental mental health and your health and that is why this person does not match with you because we are coming across a really immature insecure uh, little kid energy and then we got an adult here okay so this person will never be able to give you what you want because you're not at your level and i'm not talking about money race or nothing i'm talking about mentally they're not on the same level as much as you want it this person is not i get it. if you're willing to be with this person you have to you're gonna be the mom of this connection like pretty much caring for them making sure they do things right it's like being on top of them if you like that kind of relationship this is for you but if you don't just pretty much either or walk away or see if this person will ever change with a ten of pentacles and reverse this person could have another family and i'm talking about a girlfriend a boyfriend this person could have gotten somebody else pregnant and with the eight of swords it's something like uh, libra energy as well uh it's something that you might not know 
but you're going to know eventually if this person is out of social media maybe that's the message you're gonna get it's gonna help you with clarity you're gonna understand why this person could have ghosted you could have like stopped talking to you could have like curt you or in any way so be aware that this person could have a girlfriend a boyfriend or something like that and they got somebody pregnant and they have a kid with this person that they hide from everybody because again they don't love this person either they're just with them because if they're still with them just because they have a kid with them and with eight of swords they are working really hard for you to not know that they don't want you to know that libra so they're trying their best to hide that from you with a 10 or oh, once we're here in the reverse um but it's gonna come into an end like you're gonna find out the truth or they're gonna come forward and they're gonna tell you hey this is what's going on in a way it's gonna lift uh weight off their shoulders as well but it's also going to uh break you a bit even if you're over this person because uh you libras don't like to be the libras don't like to be lied to and this person did play you and lied to you for a bit so for you to know that you're gonna be like oh my god i can't believe this person was talking to me while having a girlfriend or while having a boyfriend and while having a kid you know so they want to clear the air with you but just because they want to be honest right now does not mean that they lied to you you know does not mean that they did not lie to you um, whoever this person is uh, did hide something really major for you from you and they might could have a real reason but lie is a lie regardless of what that is you decide if you forgive them or not because I'm not your mom like I tell everybody I'm not nobody's mom just my child's mom and I'm not gonna tell whoever what to do I'm just telling you what's going on okay so now we know that right now we know that so let's see, is there anybody new in Libra? Libra's life, is there any new love coming towards Libra? Let's see if there's any new love. So with the Seven of Swords, and then we got the Page of Wands right here, Sagittarius, Leo Energy. What else for Libra about new love? What about new love? So with the Lovers, Gemini Energy, you might find another soulmate, okay? Soulmates, um, oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Soulmates, right? Sorry about that. I just got allergies. Um, we have tons of soulmates, right? We don't only have one. Why do we not only have one? Because we live many lives, right? And that's one of the things people go like, oh, I'm a twin flame, I'm a soulmate. Yes, you could. But it does not mean you're going to end up with them. There's many books that explains that, if you don't believe me. Because people get mad at me when I say that, okay? Because think about it like this, Libras. If Twin Flames and everybody will be soulmates and Twin Flames, da, 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 you would have been with you the love of your life. And sometimes it does not work like that. Because some soulmates and some Twin Flames are in your life to show you a lesson. And then you're ready for your real soulmate, your true Twin Flame or so. You know? As an example, it's more complicated than that, but I'm just giving you a little explanation. Anywho, for new love, so you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, Leo, and or Gemini here. But look at what's going on here. The old person refuses to leave your life completely. So your old person is going to come in and out of your life. So it's like a ghost is like haunting you. Like, hey, how are you? And then they're gone. They will text you and then they're gone. So it's like... They're going to be constantly in your life or try to be in, trying to be in your life. I don't see them being completely gone and moved on. And people go like, oh, they need to move on. They freaking do, but they just don't. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know, like you cannot tell other people to do what they want or what you want. You know, the only thing you can do is avoid them, block them if you don't want them. But the other person refuses to leave your life completely. They're still going to pop in, in and out of your life. There's a new love coming your way. This person could have curly-ish hair, reddish hair. This person could be younger than you or no beard. There's somebody new coming your way that is really interesting. This person is really creative, optimistic, enthusiastic. This person is really fun to be around. This person could be a jokester. Um, this person seems to be really kind and really loving. They seem a little younger, okay? So... Keep that in mind. This is going to be a really sweet connection. A really sweet connection. It's going to be instantly connection. You guys will have a lot in common. And little by little without you realizing this Libra, you're going to fall in love with them. But then we go again with this past person. Unwilling to leave your life. It's going to be like a little 
rock on the way it's like I cannot offer you commitment I will not offer you what you really want from me but I'm unwilling to leave you alone and that is the kind of freaking energy I'm getting as well and this is new that you're gonna be in between two energies and the only one who has the answers and the only one who has the power to push this old person away and embrace the new is you Libra look at this you have to be decisive here. It's only right here. You have to be decisive and pretty much cut the cord with whoever you don't want in your life. And you pretty much you have to be driven and you have to be defensive of what you really want here because you have to move with great like with great speed. You gotta move fast just to make sure your decisions are the assertive because again your past person refuses to leave and the new one is here but i'm gonna tell you something you have to be uh decisive you have to be aggressive you have to be assertive and pretty much move fast and pretty much decide who of this person you're gonna keep because i know this the past person some of you might keep the past person some of you might to mind you might want to be uh embracing the new okay so this is for Two different uh, groups of Libras. The ones who are done with the past, the ones who want to the new, the ones who still want the past and not they're not ready to embrace the new. So no judgment. There's good things coming your way. It's your choice, it's your call what to decide. Let me go with career. Oh my god, I look so ugly. Career. <laughs> What can you give me for Libra in our career? What can I get for Libra career? Please and thank you. So we got the three of ones in reverse. What else? We got the nine of ones in reverse. Nine of ones, I'm sorry. And the page of pentacles here. Thank you, Spirit. We got the ten of cups in reverse. Oh my God. The Emperor, Aries energy, the world. The Knight of Wands, the Five of Cups. Oh my God, Libra. So I see a lot of things um, happening. It's a little bit overwhelming when it comes to career. <clears throat> so you don't know this, but you might be traveling a lot. It hasn't happened, but you're going to be traveling a lot um, because of work. There's a lot of uh, job opportunities wanting to come your way. And you will have to um, put a pause and be like, oh my God, what should I do? what kind of uh, opportunities is best for me um with the nine of ones right here i see you being a little bit afraid because you know new is a little bit scary but you should not let fear stop you because you go like okay what kind of like this too, okay the feeling that you might feel is like this might be too much am i ready for this am i am i adequate for this you know this is the kind of like fear i'm talking about and i'm telling you yes you are yes you are adequate yes you can do this no you should not fear with a page of coins right here you are a really really unique uh, person libra you are prepared you are really smart so you don't have to doubt yourself so i see you working really hard i see you studying really hard and you're gonna get your break you're gonna get your momentum so at that time it's normally it's really totally normal to double gas sometimes and just pretty much be like, am I ready? Am I ready? I just want you to know that you you are. You are. You is. Okay? With the Ten of Cups right here, also I see you in the future, um, besides having a family, I see you having uh, your own place. I see you getting a house, moving, or getting a, a new place. I see you moving. So you don't know this, but you're going to get your break. You're going to have abundance and money. You're going to have recognition. You're going to have a bunch of new beginnings. You're going to have a little bit of doubt, but that's going to pass because you know you're, that you're prepared for this. You know you're adequate. If you're going to go ahead and get a test or something, for your career you're gonna be just fine i also see some of you getting either or properties such as a house or a car but i see more like moving so you're gonna be moving soon into the house or your place or the place of your dreams with the emperor right here i see you being really stable really really stable money wise you're gonna be really really stable like i said before you're gonna be able you're gonna be like a boss you're gonna be able to say like i want this i don't want that this that so you're gonna be the 
the big boss saying or telling people what to do you can actually be embracing your own business you can actually be embracing i don't know a promotion or so so don't be afraid because you're gonna get it and you're gonna be the one calling the shots and you're gonna be respected and looked and people are gonna look after you or up to you after you too you know with the world right here there's a change a shift of direction here of your life look at this and it comes in fast you're, you don't see this but your life is about to change for the best and with the five of cups right here also it's telling you right here that yes your life is going about is about to change you're going to either or move to a new place you're going to actually could be promoted you can actually be traveling for for work whatever it is it's like just good it's gonna it's gonna be good it's gonna be unexpected it's, and it's actually happening fast without you actually realizing it also remember that with fame and uh success comes fake people fake love just on the side note that there's gonna be a lot of people wanting to offer their cup but you have to keep yourself real humble and grounded and realize who is there for you because you or who is there for you because of what you can bring to the table that is one of the messages that spirit just told me as well but besides that there's going to be plenty of uh love money success coming your way so i feel that there's going to be a lot of interviews there's going to be a lot of like business calls you're going to be really busy though and you're going to be able to decide which ones you want to take, which ones you don't want to take. I see you uh, embracing the new. I see you looking towards the future and be like, I want to build. So I feel like your career is about to start. Your success, success is about to start. You're going to be able to build an uh build a, an emperor and build something an empire you know so i see you uh this is just the beginning of your empire libra when it comes to career and if you're like i said if you're uh, waiting on a test like if you're going to college or school you're gonna pass it and you're gonna graduate so that is for whoever you know so that is really really good for you libra on um, everything i really like this reading you know like i don't only do love readings i do everything and I feel like I was just doing love readings. So I want to try to mix it up more for everybody's needs, you know. Um, so let's see what else I got for you. Let's see. Let's give you a message from your angels. What messages do we have? So we got, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as the signified divine guidance. As, as they signify divine guidance. Look at this, a train. Let's see what else we got. Take back your power. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Okay, we got three cards. Okay. Prioritize. Focus on the highest priorities. I, I will help you get organized and motivated. Like I said before, you're going to be really busy, so you have to find a way to organize yourself because you're going to be extremely busy. Um, then we got play, uh, pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answers to your prayers and last one it says notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people that's awesome and i'm gonna give you a message from the universe though let's see let's see thank you spirit we got two cards first one says when i when i lean towards love i am led and here it says in any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness right here. That's another message for you. And you guys know that I love giving numbers. This is numerology. What you need to do is just find the spiritual meaning of this number or angel number such, and you can find extra guidance maybe regardless of this reading or maybe regard anything in life that you might need extra guidance to on. It is uh, number two. Number two, it is your number here, uh, Libra. So, look it up and you can let me know what you find. And you guys know that I love also giving prayers. So, this is for whoever loves prayers or feels they are helpful. If you don't like them, just let it go. And this, again, is just for whoever does believe and likes prayers. Okay. So, we got today's prayer here. And it says, Psalm 148, 13. It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His um, splendor is above the earth and the heavens psalm 148 13 so that is the end of your reading thank you so much for sticking around please like and subscribe and i'll be back next week with more videos bye